Hello everyone, it's Melissa and I'm back. I want to start another layout and so I thought I'd show you some of the products that I hope to use and so let's get started. Uh, these are the photos I'm going to put on this page. I know it's a lot but you know that I can work wonders with multiple photos on a page. So I am going to do some sort of grid layout because that's my go-to when I'm trying to um, get a bunch of pictures on one 12 by 12 layout. And so originally, and I'm still up in the air, but um, I couldn't possibly go through all the products that are inspiring me because in all honesty, full disclosure, I have a lot of Christmas things and so I'm just going to be rifling, rifling through what I have and I hope, you know, um, I'll pull something together. So uh, originally I was going to try to use this paper, which is from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby. And I still might, but then I stumbled across this American Crafts, this paper, uh, The Color of Memories, and this I purchased from Joanne Fabrics, and I did print these pictures in color because, I mean, what would a Christmas photo be, in my mind anyway, without having everybody in full color, you know, as far as Santa and so on. So, um, so I pulled this paper because I feel like it has a nice variety of pinks and blues and um, blacks, reds, greens, those types of things, and even craft, which is usually my go-to. And then in going through some of my other papers, I stumbled upon, uh, years and years ago, I won from a giveaway this Peace, Joy, Love paper pack, this collection from Lawn Fawn. I want to say it's, yeah, right here. And I've used it a handful of times. I've got uh, quite a bit left, and so I'm going to try to incorporate some of these papers as well. I also have this American craft sheet. I guess it's not called the color of memories, but either way, it's from Joanne Fabrics. I know that and um, it's, uh, you know, from their paper thing. It's one sided, so it's a thin sheet, but that's okay. But with doing the grid style, um, this is going to come in handy, just cut apart. So yeah, that's what I've got. I've got some flare pulled, um, some chipboard, stickers, those types of things, and I will see where it goes. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm back. I have my layout done and I love the way it turned out. I'm going to go ahead and share it uh, quickly and I will get started on another. So this is 12 by 12. I mentioned that I was going to try and use the cut aparts that I got from Joanne Fabrics and I in fact used a handful. And so um, I mentioned they were from American Crafts, but when I read the strip, it, the manufacturer strip, I don't know where it's from, to be honest. And um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell everybody, but anyway, love it. So, and the colors complemented my photos beautifully. So let's go ahead and get started. So I put this on just a piece of white cardstock. There's the back. Um, what... I wanted to keep was a lot of this red distressed kind of peppermint looking striped paper so I just cut a strip of it here and here and put it on white because this was again um, a thinner piece of pattern paper because this was actually from Hobby Lobby um, one of their holiday prints and so I needed to put it on something a little bit more substantial this was some Stampin' Up. It's got a little stripe, but to me it's reading, um, it's pattern paper, but it's reading like a craft, which is nice because it's helping to pull in the craft element, color elements from these cut of arts. So this page, if, um, I don't remember if I said it before, but it's from our annual Frankenmuth road trip. So I wanted to do a grid style to incorporate a lot of photographs, and so I... I like how this turned out. So on the top here, this is a chipboard frame, probably from Simple Stories, and I just cut it in half on a diagonal. And I use the other half here. This is just some lawn fawn paper that I tore and tucked in here just to bring in some green. Um, there's a lot of red in these pictures and, and these cut apart, so I wanted to make sure I brought in red, uh, green. So I did that with this felt. Brad, which I don't know where that's from, or it's a piece of flare. I don't know where it's from, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I can't tell you that. But 
the December is an L Studio printable and that's from a couple years ago it might still be in their shop I'm not exactly sure uh, this season tab let's see that's actually from this Echo Park the story of Christmas pack uh, oh what fun is a clear sticker and that is from this whoopsie sorry this DIY simple stories clear sticker Christmas pack I don't know where this is from maybe Walmart but I did use uh, meet me under the mistletoe it's like a vellum sticker and I put it here this joy is actually from the Target bullseye and I used a sharpie marker and colored the J and the Y black and then I'm gonna try to glare it to the light you might be able to see some of the sparkle on there I went ahead and took Copic alcohol markers and I colored you could do the same of course with a um, green sharpies and I colored it in two different greens it's not that easy to tell but I colored it in two different greens I used my hole punch and got some berries some circle shapes added some stickles on top of there for some glitter and then I went over the whole wood element with this glitter dust this is the iridescent and I bought this from Simon Says Stamp but I know for sure that I've seen it at either Joanne Fabrics Michaels or Hobby Lobby I know that for sure so, um, I actually saw that in a video Christina Werner did. You, it takes to cardstock and everything beautifully. I've used it um, several times already. So, this is a piece of uh, Buffalo Check washi just to ground the title. There was like a space in between there. This is the other half of that frame I mentioned. Tradition is cut from the bottle cap alpha from My Favorite Things. Uh, then, as a fun element on the side here, I used, uh, let's see, from Basil. I have in my stash when sewing was all the rage, which it is now again. I kind of feel like I, pay, I did a little Paige Evans channeling, my inner Paige Evans here on this layout. But, um, sorry, this Basil, um, these templates were fun. I've got a handful of them, but these two stars. I just went around the outside of my layout and I did some coming not off of this ed edge of the page but hiding under that end, just edge just to show movement and I stitched that with a gold crochet twine and I have gold, silver, and white crochet flaw twine in my stash so um, that's fun. So that's it. This um, cut apart label is from Ellie Studio and the stamp it's from this joyful right here and the stamp he's making a list and checking it twice is Santa's list from Stampin' Up it's an old stamp but that's my stamped element on my page I stamp on everything and that's it so um, the only thing I still need to do here is uh, add my date which I will but I wanted to go ahead and share this layout so I could photograph it and file it away start on another one so fun so thank you guys so much for watching i would love for you to give this video a thumbs up if you like this layout and follow me on youtube and i will put my link to my facebook page and my instagram page in the description box below and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section thanks for watching guys bye